Eww. Hey, y'all, let's get into it. Oh, hold on. My bad. Anyways. Y'all see, we got Mr. Beast surviving seven days in an abandoned city. Hey, it's going to be fire. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Of course you're going to survive, dude. Duh. <laughs> but anyways, let's go. <laughs> We just got dropped off in the middle of an abandoned city and we're just for the next seven days here. And there goes our own way. We are now standing for the next seven days. Are we doing this? For content. This once beautiful city was bombed and abandoned because of war. Which means the only people here are us and our cameramen. At least that we know of. So I guess we start off by getting off the roof. But we knew okay. that our first objective was to explore this city and find a safe place to call home for the next seven days. Which starts with exploring this building. Alright, let's see what's down the bottom of the building. I assume under this wood is a floor. Only one way to find out! Alright, this is crazy. I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse. This is wild. I just got only question. What they gonna eat? <laughs> That's like stuck in my mind right now. What are y'all going to eat? Oh, look at this. And after a little more exploring, we stumbled across an area that might work for a shelter. Oh, my God. I think this is where we should set up camp. You can see the entire city over here. Plus, we have a roof to protect us from rain. Wow. And now that we had our home base decided, the next step was to... I was going to say, but if somebody is there, they definitely going to be able to see y'all. If y'all put up some lights and stuff, they're going to see y'all. That going to be spotted out like a light tower. Open up the supply crate left by the helicopter on the roof. But yeah, that's smart. Crate so we can build camp. Look, smart. Some gear. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Uh, this crate okay. contains all the survival gear we I mean, I'll get it. Okay. Need for the next seven days. And so okay. we have to carry stuff all the way down the stairs. We're just going to drop it. Oh. <laughs> But jokes aside, it was time to actually start surviving now. Who wants fire duty? We'll get it. We're on bed duty. Chris got started on making a fire. Alright, with Mark. I'm personally a fan of the log cabin when it comes to fires. Eagle Scout. Did I mention that yet? Well, me and Chandler are looking. I'll tell you, I got matches. For something to sleep on. This is what matches were like 100 years ago? Ew, I just sleep on the ground. That's nasty. Got a mattress? Yeah. Where? On the second floor in the corner. <laughs> That's all you. Thanks. Yeah, you should wrap that thing in a tarp so you don't get destroyed by bugs. I'm gonna wrap that mattress like a burrito. And while Chandler took his chances with a sketchy mattress, the rest of us decided to sleep on wooden doors. There's no shot that you're more comfortable than me right now. Uh, my back already hurts. <laughs> There's so many buildings we have yet to explore in this city. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. We'll see you in the morning. Even though our first day in the city went pretty smooth, something eerie did happen to occur later that night. See, look at all that light. That's a lot of light. So even if I'm like five, ten miles away, I'll be able to see that. I'm like, yo, there's light over there. <laughs> so if there is, like I said, other people on that uh, island, they can be like, who is that? <laughs> While we were sleeping, Mark and some of the camera guys woke up to the sound of breaking glass not far from the camp. Which made us start to wonder if we were really alone inside this the city. animals? What was it? I thought I saw something. But on top of the freaky noises, this And then y'all turn more light on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it was way too windy to sleep. How'd you guys sleep? Too windy. Bad. So in pursuit of better okay. sleep, we got up, got breakfast, and got prepared to find our new shelter. Hey, this is the first time I've had chili for breakfast, but I'm so though. hungry I kind of don't care. As well since the raft. When have I ever been this excited over canned chili? I think my brain tried to forget about that. Thanks. So after a nutritious breakfast, we took off our drone to seek out a new shelter in the unexplored buildings. We haven't explored that building. We haven't explored those hotels. It is an actual city here. However, upon scanning the buildings, we did stumble upon an unexpected guest. There's a cat! There's a cat down there! I'm gonna land the drone oh, okay. right beside the cat. Oh, 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 oh look at that shot! Oh, Chris, Chris, look! Oh, it's sniffing the camera! This cat has, like, no survival instinct. I promise we are not paying this cat to be an actor. As fun as playing with these cats is, we need to focus on shelter because it's gonna be freezing tonight. And so we started okay, our journey. Okay, so some cats, okay. That's cool, that's cool. If some cats is good, then. Yeah, it's, it's pretty safe if it's just cats. We need to find a sufficient shelter for the challenge. Wait, what is this? Whoa. 
just has this type of like aesthetic to it that is like beautiful even though it's ugly. Zombie apocalypse aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait, is that a pool? Wow! What the heck? This is so scary. Back in the day, this used to look something like wow. this. And after decades of rotting from being abandoned, this is what we're left with. Wait, there's a soccer field? The sport court! Oh. Is that a soccer ball? Ah! I almost died. I bet this soccer ball is older than me. Me older than all of us, for sure. Well, besides Mark, he's old. <laughs> we have two options now. We can keep exploring down this cool-looking tunnel and go check out the neighborhood. Or, with the hour of light we have left, we can prep for nighttime and not freeze all night. Not freeze. That sounds like a good idea. I agree. And after spending <laughs> the entire day looking for a new shelter, I just can't get over how massive the city is. We finally found a place fortified enough to call home. So we don't freeze tonight. We're thinking of setting up camp in this room right here. We'll have a fire pit right here. We can tarp the wall right there. It's going to be comfy. Yeah, Mark's going to do all that. I said we. <laughs> the only hard part is come over here. Our current camp and all our gear is all the way over there. I hope this place really works out because it's going to be a lot of effort to set up. With the sun getting low and the temperature rapidly dropping, we made our way back to the old camping spot and packed up the settle into the new base. We're heading to the new campsite. The new campsite. The new campsite. Okay, we got a lot clean up to do to prep this for tonight. This looks like a terrible place, but whatever. And after finding a more weatherproof base, we spent the next few hours okay. dragging in as many of our belongings as we could before sundown. And because it got dark so fast, we couldn't bring all of our resources to the new base. So aside from one water bag, cans of chili, and a couple old mattresses, this is all we had. What does everyone think of our new place? I like that there's no wind. It's much warmer. Chandler? <laughs> it's now the third day of seven doing this challenge. And once we got up, we continued exploring. Be careful. These stairs are actually steep. On this whole staircase, three of the stairs are normal. <laughs> this beach is nice. It actually smells like a beach. It's because it is a beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not too far in, something strange happened. Uh, you can see someone. What? Wait, don't you see that reflecting thing over there on the stairs? Oh, I did. Jimmy, remember how we almost died the first night from glass bottle attack? I wonder if that's where the glass bottles came from. It was in this moment we realized we actually weren't alone in this abandoned city after all. And once our cameraman spotted this mysterious person on our drone, we did what anyone else would do. Let's go check it out. Investigation. That is sick. Why is this mansion beside this giant motel? Decades ago, this hotel stood as a first class vacation resort. Really nice. Like years of war turned this once picturesque property into a city. Oh my gosh, the city looks amazing. Ruined. Let's head on in. What did we just get ourselves Funky into? Redo it. We totally don't wait for the cameraman to walk in the room before we go. <laughs> Anyways, oh, it's getting dark. Everyone, stop. Stop. Candy. We should go in there. I'll go first. <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. You think it's a Feastables bar? What the heck? This is starting to get very eerie. And I think Mark should go first. What? <laughs> Look at how deep this wow, hole is. I go so also, if you far. fall over here, you might die. There's a very non-zero chance somebody could be in here and like attack us. If someone attacked us, what do we do? Every man for himself. Yeah. Whoever's the slowest just dies. Whoa, what's that like? Ooh. Hello. I'm creeped out now, guys. We spent the rest of the day searching for the lurker. But once it started getting dark, we could only hope that later he wouldn't be looking for us. And now that it's dark out, here's what we've actually been waiting for. Give me Big Bertha. Big Bertha? Thank you. Oh. oh. Big Bertha. Notice how you can't see that building over there. This is the world's most powerful flashlight. Damn. Yeah, you can. Bro, I bet the fish in the ocean are tripping. <laughs> It stopped working. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> the pluses of our actions is we got to play with the world's strongest flashlight at night. The negatives of our actions is now we got to walk back in the dark. <laughs> that was bad timing. It's way scarier going through this place at night. Yeah, it is. thousand percent. This really feels like the world has ended and we're just like surviving. So to avoid being murdered in cold blood, we went back to camp. We're back at camp! Yes! I'm going to fire you on. I will. There's literally only chili left. And so with the last of our supply here... I'm glad they make me day three. We're feasting! Tomorrow we got some tables and seven chairs. And more food. That'd be awesome. But when we woke up on the morning of day four out of seven, we realized that we were already running low on supplies. Our bag of water is out of water. Do we have more? Point the camera at that roof. All the way over there. I wish I had more than a hundred no, calories. That's, that's fine, that's fine. You can still get some from over there as long as it's over there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 
Yeah. My body was so good. Eh? Nose goes. What does nose goes mean? It sounds like you're going. <laughs> Sounds like He's going to need help. He can't carry it on his own. So Mark and Chandler set out to go all the way back to our original camping spot and get more supplies from the crate. So oh, they are on a side quest for water. This is a main quest. While they get the water, <laughs> main quest. Useless, we are <laughs> I don't want us to be useless. So we're going to go try to find a table and some chairs. But we didn't get very far before Chris got distracted. Did we not know this was here? Jenny! Huh? Yeah? I found a bike! That looks like a nice bike. Really Where'd you find that? In here. This is the coolest abandoned city ever. Have a bus? I am. That's that guy by it. He's gonna come back like, what happened to my bike? Alright, I'm gonna go look for a table. Okay, let's go. How are we gonna get the water out of this? Oh, it's heavy. The thought process is that this is a house. Okay. And what do people have in their house? Tables and chairs. Exactly. Wait, hold up. Move this. Don't move. Yes. <laughs> It's a chair. Or a table. You are strong. A uh, little help here, Chan. This bag of water is over 100 pounds. And so my buddy Mark, being the science YouTuber that he is, had an idea to get it down from the roof more effectively. But... Uh oh uh oh uh oh I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I should have just hit the long way. <laughs> we need stronger rope. What you're watching is real. Mark literally deleted half of our water. We got some bad news. Hurry up. Nice. Hurry up. The rope broke and all the water splattered on the ground. The roof yes. blow, broke all the water. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Take accountability. <laughs> you all broke the water. <laughs> The roof didn't do nothing. It's sitting right there. You have to just walk down the stairs. A hundred pounds. Man, y'all trip. <laughs> was actually a very serious problem. Oh, no. Right. Are you kidding me? No! This one down, please. And now that half of our water is actually yeah, gone, yeah. the only possible way to complete this seven day challenge would unfortunately be to send two of us home. Time. So Chris and Chandler volunteered to leave the city, leaving Mark and I with just enough resources to make it the full seven days. Oh. Genuinely, I would be scared if we left Jimmy with anybody other than you. I oh, think you guys. You guys. But before <laughs> they left, we wanted to have one final feast with the whole game. Now that's. <laughs> that oh my gosh. Mm. My hair. <laughs> Great melting point on the chocolate, Jimmy, if I may. If you've tried Feastables before, the ones that used to look like this, you haven't tried Feastables. Our brand new formula tastes so much better. Genuinely, go to Walmart, try Feastables, and tell me what you think. It's honestly way better than the old formula, but don't take my word for it. I just worked at NASA, so... <laughs> Well, I just had s'mores, so I can go to the boat now. And so we launched a flare to signal the boat, <laughs> yeah. which was actually pretty cool. Bro, look how cool that was. Wait, cool. it's lighting up the entire <laughs> city. <laughs> but the not cool part is now that Chris and Chandler are gone, it's just Mark and I surviving in this city. I feel so lonely. It's the first day without our friends, but we're going to make the best of the situation. Our objective for today is to upgrade our shelter. We're going to put up tarps and windproof this room. We're going to build a fireplace in here and heat it up. We're going to find shelves and tables. We're going to make this place look like a home. With some of the ideas we have planned, I might stick around till day 14. <laughs> He's lying. And so we started exploring some nearby buildings to find furnishing for our shelter. Which is when we found this awesome so shelf, this seven day, table, table, 14. a massive carpet, and also this metal thing that was found by our camera guy. Whoa, look at this chair. That works still, man. Bro, that's comf. <laughs> I found a fake TV. We can make it look like we have a TV now. It's a good find. Wow, that's just so cool. It's like courtyard with the arches. Each building in the city has like its own personality. What can we do with these? We could use like a vent system like this, combined with these. We can make a fireplace. Wow, uh, like actual wallpaper? We have wallpaper. What do we use it for? To make the house a home, Jimmy. It's like we went grocery shopping, but instead we grabbed a bunch of 30 year old garbage. Honey, we're home. We found all this stuff now we're gonna start decorating we're no longer surviving jimmy we're thriving i like that we literally spent the next four hours moving all of the rubble out of our shelter which made us pretty thirsty hey. water in these sacks tastes like trash this is why we all brought a circle water bottle because you can put a flavor cartridge in it and make water taste good this is my first time drinking a circle bottle delightful experience you can determine the intensity so if you're feeling really audacious you can have level nine flavor or if you're just a wuss you can have level one flavor and try six six I'm at your six. That 
tastes awesome. Ooh, which flavor are you using? I don't know. I'm not too much because it's got energy. <laughs> That's right now, Jimmy? Crazy. Energy? That's I actually right. really Good don't know. Circle has our back. And now that we have been hydrated, it was time to start crushing these renovations. When everything's said and done, this room will be the greatest room in an abandoned city you've ever seen. This is our new shelf. All right, let's see how she looks. See that? See how that does? Oh, isn't that satisfying? And now that the shelf is clean, we can use it to store food. For some reason, over half the food we packed is chili, and no one here likes chili. <laughs> That's the non-chili row. That's the chili row. This is the Feastables row. Right there. See, now we have a table to put our circle water bottles. Okay. Hey, it's looking nice. This is a 22 ounce bottle. This is the 32 ounce bottle. And they have a metal double insulated bottle that you can get for free right now if you buy 10 flavor cartridges. What a steal. No, it's not a steal, it's free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna block a lot of wind. And with our new door in place, we also hung up this huge tarp, which will allow us to keep all the heat from the fireplace inside our shelter. Oxygen comes in, fire burns, sends heat in the room, sends smoke out. This is redneck engineering at its finest. And finally, after being cold for so long, all right, look at that. And we have a fire. I can feel the heat coming out. We're Jimmy rigged this up with like ruins from an abandoned city. Anyway, go to drinkcircle.com slash Mr. Beast or scan the QR code on his face if you want to order Circle right now. This is the final room. We have plenty in the corner. We have our beds that are now smaller. Tell me this isn't genius. This is Mark's <laughs> iPad and the TV frame. Obviously, it's a nice lighting. A furnace that is heating up the room. A real table with chairs and a shelving unit with the scraps of food we have left and a dirty towel we've been sharing. This oh, is survival. Gosh. But just as our night was going so well, for the fifth day in a row, we heard broken glass. Mark, I'm right here, dog. What was it? Man, we are having such a good day, too. I want to go see who's upstairs. I'm carrying the knife as a threat, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> hey, if you're up here, just come out. I want to be best friends with you. Are you serious? You're not pranking me, bro. I swear to you, it was not me. Hello? What is this? What? Oh my gosh. This is the most Mark Rover thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what is this? What the heck? You swore! So, turns out Mark was pranking us, and he was the one dropping bottles this whole time. I've got a remote control here, but no one suspects it. I'm eating my sleeping bag, and I can start launching glass bottles from the roof, freak everyone out. Oh my oh, gosh. I don't think I could trust you. Boom. Now that Mark stopped pranking me, he re rigged his contraption. He smells me. Here you go. I'll take one. I got one as well. That's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> to be honest, it was pretty easy to forget <sighs> because we only had one day left in the challenge. Good morning. Good morning. I like the adventure of getting up, going all the way to the kitchen, running down the stairs. I like all of that. It's so much colder out here know. than it is in there. Let's go back! <laughs> it's now the morning of day six. All the modifications yeah, we made were building. phenomenal. And it was at least 10 degrees warmer. Yep. That was amazing. Slept incredible. Mark, okay. on our last real day, I say we go have some fun. Yeah! Jimmy, is that a kayak? I know what we should do with it. Ah! Now someone can kayak in this pool. Me and Mark really did have a lot of fun. We played baseball, we played soccer. Mark even taught me how to skip rocks, scientifically. And he's been screaming at each other from different sides of the city. Mark! Mark! Let's throw things off the roof at the same time! Great idea! To be honest, doing all these kind of dumb things really did take our minds off of how lonely the city really was. Yeah! And by the time the final day of this challenge arrived, after cleaning up camp, we only had one objective in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. Huge <laughs> shout out to Mark. He didn't have to do this. He has his own channel. He's very busy. Here's his channel. Y'all made it. I appreciate you. Now let's get out of Let's go. By the way, I'm giving away $10,000 a day every day for the next 15 days to random people who buy our new Feast of Bar. Go buy the new formula. It tastes amazing. See y'all in the next one, man. That was a good video. They survived their seven days for sure. All right, all right. See y'all. Peace.